Hey there viewers and welcome back to Planet Cryos. Here's another how-to video on the simplicity of how to update your BIOS and I'm going to show you how to do it, so stick around. All right, so to get started, the only things that you need is basically a thumb drive, anything smaller than eight or you know 16, eight gigabytes. You really don't need anything larger than that. Really, you need you could use something smaller than even uh, eight gigabytes. It's not a very big file size uh, when it comes to updating your BIOS, but you nevertheless you do need a thumb drive. So I have a dedicated one, as you can see here. It actually just says. BIOS on it and I use this for doing uh, my PCs that I have uh, in my room here. So the other thing you need to know is you need to know what motherboard you have and there's a couple ways of going about doing that. One is if you actually have your motherboard box. Um, this one um, is the ninth gen and you can see the uh, the the uh, the number here that you're gonna need to type in. You type this in verbatim into Google, and usually your first selection is going to be the Google's website, and you're just gonna go to the support page and find your uh, new BIOS. But you again, you need to know uh, what BIOS you currently have on your system. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to do all that right now. All right, so I have my utilities thumb drive plugged in here, and what we want is CPU Z. You can find this online if you just do a search for CPU Z. We're going to copy it over to the desktop, so I don't know, no, or so I do not any longer need the thumb drive. And now we're going to open up CPU Z. We're going to launch the 64-bit edition. This should just take a moment to open. And we could do a new version. There is a new version available. I'll do that later on. Uh, we're just going to continue. And right here, uh, I have the uh, Core i5-9400 in this uh, computer. And what we're looking for is the actual motherboard. So we want to come over here to the uh, main board. And you can see right here, model. And it says H370M, then a space, DS3H. There's the dash CF. You don't need that dash CF. Um, but I, you can probably type it in and it'll still work out fine. But also, the second thing what you need to know is your BIOS version. If you haven't been into the BIOS, if you're still um, on this, what you want to do is go ahead and take note of this. Your version, we have F14D. So that's the things that we need to know. And what you need to do is you need to go to Google. If you don't have a second PC, you're gonna need uh, to go to Google or, or your internet browser. And you need to type in verbatim what I said for that motherboard. And I already did that and you see that it says right here, this is the Gigabyte website, www.gigabyte.com. And we have revision one. And so what you need, this guy right here, is gonna bring you to this page. Now, up over here on, on this page in the black area, there's gonna be a support button. Sometimes it'll say support up here, up top. You don't want that, whatever it says on the white or up above this support button. You always want this one. So go ahead and click on that. This is, uh, Gigabyte's website, uh, other manufacturers do it a little differently, or they could possibly do it differently. And for Gigabyte's website, we're gonna scroll all the way down, right here where it says BIOS. And we're gonna go up, 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 until we find our current BIOS, right there, F14D. And if we go one more up, that is the latest BIOS. You can see the release date. Uh, it was last year in November. And over here, you're gonna see something pretty important. This is a 
major vulnerability vulnerabilities update. Uh, customers are strongly encouraged to update to the re this release at the earliest uh, you know that they can. So uh, apparently this has some probably security issues uh, for the last BIOS. So what we're going to do is this uh, right under here where it says download. We're just going to hit the download and you can see it downloading right there. It's already done. We can go ahead and close this website out. I'm gonna go into uh, my folders where the downloads are. And right here, um, we have our, our zip file. We're gonna extract the zip file, extract all. Uh, we're just going to extract, we're gonna extract it right here. And then we're going to take the only thing that we need is the largest file. It's this H37MDS3H.F14 uh, file. It's the largest file in here. That's the one we want to copy. And we're going to put it on. We have to put another thumb drive in. I'm going to remove this one. We're gonna take our BIOS. Remember I said we have our, our BIOS uh, thumb drive here. Stick it in the computer. And we're gonna close that. Oh, oh I wanna open that. Uh, let's see, and then we're going to paste it. And there we go, all right that thumb drive is all set and ready to rock and roll. So the way I'm gonna show you how to get into the BIOS is either from the computer at a shutdown state, or you can go ahead and restart your computer. And as it's restarting, go ahead and hit the delete key, or you gotta check with the manufacturer for that motherboard, um, which key to actually press repeatedly until you get into the setup uh, slash BIOS. And that's what we're gonna do right here. We're actually shut, the computer's actually shut down right now, but I'm going to start it, hit the delete key repeatedly. I'm doing this all on camera so you can see. And right there, boom, we're in the BIOS. Some of them aren't that fast, but I don't have really anything on this PC. So here is our uh, BIOS. This is a Gigabyte BIOS. Um, so right down here, or up here, let's start up here where it says BIOS, we click on that, we can actually, uh, nope, it's not in BIOS, we can actually go to system. Okay, system, see we have the F14D, and we're actually going for the 14, F14 is what we want. So, uh, down here at the bottom, there's a little arrow, we want Q flash, that's so we can flash the BIOS, and we should see, uh, let's see, update the BIOS. You can see our thumb drive is being recognized and it sees it right here as the file. I'm gonna go ahead and click on that. Click this arrow over here to continue. So you have the two options here. You can either do a fast, update, which basically just means you're not gonna do the Intel ME, which stands for Management Engine, uh, or you could do the what's called Intact, and it will install the new Management Engine and all that. So you kind of have a couple of options here. Um, I guess if there's a new Management Engine, it's probably a good idea to go ahead and do that. So that's what we're gonna do since this was a critical BIOS update, I'm gonna go ahead and do the whole thing. This is gonna take more time. You're gonna have more reboots also with it. If you're doing just a basic bio or BIOS install, then uh, it's not gonna take all but you know maybe two reboots. This one could take three, four, five reboots. Um, uh, yeah, actually, one of my computers actually was even more than that. So anyway, uh, go ahead and uh, click on intact. Just make sure it's highlighted and click your next button here. And after you do that, oh, 
There we go. Um, you're just going to watch this and watch this. Don't click on anything else. Well, all we do is, all we're getting is that blinking cursor. Um, it rebooted two or three times and then that's where it sits. And I've seen this before. Um, still don't worry too much about it, but I gave it probably an additional 10, 12 minutes. It hasn't done anything since. Um, I can hear the CPU fan increasing a little bit, decreasing, but not by much. Um, at this point, I think we're safe to go ahead and uh, power down the computer um, and go ahead and turn it back on again. Um, sometimes you just run into these issues. And it's nice that it came up um, like this. It's still a, a simple, you know, process to do. It's just you got to be mindful that stuff like this can happen and just be patient and it'll do what it's going to do. All right, at this point, I'm just going to hold in the power button of the PC. We're going to force shut it down. And when it powers off here, there it goes. Give it a second, and we're going to power back up. And we should be good. Let's just see what happens here. It's a good sign. And look at that, we're getting into Windows. See that? No sweat. So, let's take a look at our BIOS and make sure that it's updated. We have our F14, so it did update. F14, it's not F14D anymore, and you can see the BIOS date version right here. All right, guys, so if you have any questions on updating a BIOS, uh, go ahead and leave them in the comments down below. Uh, and otherwise, don't forget to subscribe, uh, share, and go ahead and hit that like button uh, so I can continue making the, uh, the choice um, or the chosen um, videos that I'm selecting. So I had to do this BIOS anyway, this BIOS update anyway, so I figured I'd... Uh, pull you along. It's a l slightly different than from an Asus, uh, just about the you know the layout of the BIOS and whatnot. So uh, it kind of served its purpose for making a video. So anyway, that's all I have. Uh, so until next time, guys. Take care.